What's happening guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to Billy Forox. Today we're gonna to see the conclusion of the corrosion test. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's been three weeks uh, to the day that I've started this test. Just a reminder, I've got four bolts that have been sitting in and out of, <coughs> excuse me, salted water for that amount of time, three weeks. I've got one bolt which has been untreated, so there's nothing on it. One bolt soaked in WD-40, the other bolt soaked in uh, S-Doc, and the last one soaked in ACF-50. Now, the, the corrosion only started appearing probably about a week after the I started the test I started to get these little sort of rust spots appearing on it but the last couple of days or so it's really ramped up so enough for me to give a definitive answer on which corrosion uh, inhibitor is the best out of these particular three all right so let's stop waffling on let's just look at the results let's have a look All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the untreated bolt. Now you can see the white is a sort of soak, salt corrosion that started to eat away at it. And it's pretty bad all round. Again, nothing on this bolt at all. It's got some pretty deep patches of rust on there. And complete discoloration of the nut underneath. All in all, pretty bad. You wouldn't want that on any part of your bike. Okay, so that's the untreated one. Next up, we're gonna have a look at the WD-40. Now, even though it's not a dedicated corrosion uh, inhibiting spray, it does do a slightly better job than not using anything at all. I mean, obviously, it's bad, but it's not as bad as untreating it. Again, the nut's got some quite a lot of discoloration on it and starting to fur up quite a bit. Pretty, um, pretty conclusive, just slightly better than not treating it at all. But again, not the best stuff in the world for this particular job. All right, that's the WD-40. The S-Doc. A dedicated corrosion protectant spray and I've got to say it's probably about as good result as the WD-40 oddly enough some really bad sort of rust appearing just on the top there some quite deep patches uh, the, the nut itself is the worst out of all of these uh, other than the untreated one in that you can really see it furring up there just how bad it's got so yeah pretty pretty bad i um i wouldn't recommend the s-doc spray uh, if you want to protect your nuts from rust all right so lastly acf 50. now i think we all knew what one was going to be the winner and uh it's no surprise to see that the ACF 50 has turned up trumps. There's literally no rust on here at all. Let's try and get you in focus. There's no rust on there. Slight discoloration, which is to be expected considering it's been sitting in salt water for three weeks. The nut itself, pretty much as it was when I put it on quite amazing really so yeah um, it's a bit of a no-brainer this one the ACF 50 really did kick ass and it protected and it's still protecting it there's no still no rust on it um, three weeks later so if you're gonna protect your bike use ACF 50 it's as simple as that if you know of a better one then let me know and I can test that against the ACF 50 but uh, let's just line them up. Uh, 
ACF 50 S Dock WD 40 and an untreated bolt so literally if we put the untreated bolt next to the ACF 50 that's the difference that's as good and as bad as it gets there you have it good old ACF 50 is most expensive I believe this tin is I think it's 14 pound from um, Amazon but it pays for itself uh, essentially so not only did I do this test but I want to show you something that I've got outside which is going to be a more long-term test again with the same free sprays so uh, let's go outside and have a look what I've got So what I've got here is a massive sheet of steel and I've just divided it up into four different sections. Untreated already, obviously that's pretty bad. WD-40, S-Dock and ACF-50, so exactly the same order as before. This one I'm just going to leave outside. Uh, I'm not going to put any water on it, I'm not going to uh, put any salt water on it, anything like that, just going to leave it to the elements and already you can see how bad the one week is. So we've had a bit of rain in the past week and obviously that showed up pretty bad. The WD-40 is starting to discolour slightly, I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera. Uh, but the S-Dock, I mean this patch here in the middle, that is where obviously I didn't want any ACF-50 to go over to the S-Dock and vice versa. So I've left the dry patch in the middle and again you can see that there but we're, we're going to concentrate on these sort of areas where I put the uh, put the spray so I'm just going to leave that outside and we'll come back to that in a couple of weeks and see how we're looking but the WD-40 from a week in is pretty much just as good as the ACF-50 in protecting it so it's more of a long term test I'd imagine that they, WD-40 is going to give out first um, and then the S-Dock but the NCF-50 is just going to keep it looking good for, uh, for ages there's a little spider there look he's not going to rust sitting there alright guys let's go back alright so that to me seems pretty conclusive the ACF-50 as far as the bulk test in the salt water confirms it just trounces the lot. Um, when I use that stuff what I tend to do is after I've washed my bike and dried it instead of spraying it on because out of, out of all those three the ACF 50 is actually the hardest to apply I find because it comes out in like thick clumps it's quite like a, it's like a gel almost so what I tend to do is just spray it on a cloth uh, almost saturate the cloth and just go over all the bits I need to protect and then just go over with a drier cloth and just take off any excess residue because you will notice um, if you have that stuff on your exhaust and you turn on the engine and let it heat up the smoke that comes off it is uh, something else so the ACF 50 wins the bolt test I will keep you updated on that sheet of steel that's outside in the elements out there so far the untreated one is absolutely knackered um, the WD-40 and the SCF 50, S, SGF 50 the S-Dock is holding its own at the moment but uh, I think that's going to change pretty soon the WD-40 is already showing signs of slight discoloration. Okay, that is it. We are done. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Take it easy, guys. Adios. Bye.